we will be implementing an innovative security model called the Relational Security Model in 26 healthcare settings across all health authorities, hiring 320 in-house protection service officers and 14 violence prevention leads to ensure security personnel have an acute awareness of patients and their surroundings. Health authorities are prior prioritizing high-risk facilities for the program, including emergency departments and mental health units. Through this new model, security personnel will be able to anticipate, de-escalate, and ultimately prevent aggression and violence. To implement the relational security model, we, we are fully committed and working with healthcare employees across the board. This will be a significant addition and change, and it will be extremely good news for everyone who visits our hospital and everyone who works in our hospitals and other healthcare facilities. In addition to those actions, we've recently provided $2 million to Switch BC, a new organization dedicated to addressing healthcare workplace safety. This is in addition to the $8.5 million over three years announced in 2019 to establish SWITCH, which stands for Safety, Well-Being, Innovation, Training, and Collaboration in Healthcare. Through this funding, SWITCH BC is developing, implementing, and supporting actions to promote workplace safety. Victoria Schmidt from SWITCH BC will tell you more about those efforts in a few minutes. The relational security model we, we will be using is based on tra trauma-informed practice, which integrates knowledge of how people are affected by trauma into procedures, practices, and services. All protection services personnel will be trained in workplace violence prevention, mental health, and advanced customer service. They will also receive trauma-informed practice training that will help them to interact with patients, families, clients, and colleagues safely and knowledgeably. Trauma-informed practice involves recognizing this link and making sure people feel safe and are not re-traumatized or triggered by their care. When people feel safe, they're far less likely to behave aggressively. Protection service personnel are on the front lines of our healthcare system, keeping patients, families, and healthcare workers safe. By empowering protection service workers with the right training and knowledge, we're preparing them to respond to the most challenging situations and achieve the best possible outcomes for healthcare workers and for patients. Ensuring the consistency and training across the protection service officers will be the responsibility of Switch BC, which is renewing and strengthening the provincial violence prevention curriculum. The relational security initiative is just one part of the health human resources strategy announced September 29th. This strategy puts people first by ensuring they get the health services they need and are cared for by a healthy workforce now and in the future.